There are many of you who consistently ask, what is the hottest thing? What should I do? How should I make money? What's the best trend? And I have a question for you. What makes you happy? What do you like to do? I think it is time you guys start taking your shot. First of all, if you don't know what you want to do, there's tons of hustles on this channel. There's tons of things you can do to make money. I don't think you really understand that if you do something to make money, you're not determined to do it or you don't particularly enjoy it. There's one thing working a job that you can tolerate. There's another thing working the job you absolutely hate. You don't like anything about it. You don't want to do it. It's just pure druggery, dragging yourself in to work each day. Why would you do that when you have a choice on picking your hustle? You'll have like a Kurt Cobain or an Amy Winehouse. These are people who made millions of dollars. They were singing, but they were depressed. There was something missing in their life. Don't know what it is. I have a theory. And the theory is if you are not doing things to make yourself happy, if you don't feel fulfilled, you're probably not going to keep doing it or you're not going to do it to the best of your ability. So take your shot. Now, what does that mean? Take your shot. If you have an ideal, you have a concept, go ahead and attempt it. You take a piece of paper. I want to do t-shirts. Then you do some research on t-shirts. Then you say, okay, I'm going to give this t-shirt business 90 days to six months. Now you're like, whoa, 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 Glenn, whoa, whoa, that's too long. Actually, it's very short. Many businesses and many professional business people know that it's going to take two to three years just to really get the ball rolling. Many of you tap out before you even got warmed up. And that's part of the problem that we have here on the internets. Everybody wants to hustle. Everybody wants to make money super, super fast. Are you built to make money? Are you designed to make money? Let's kind of walk through taking your shot. Let's say you're on the internet, you're watching one of my videos and you're like, hey Glennon, I want to do this dog walking thing. What's the first thing you do? You sign up for rover.com, go to rover and you start walking dogs and you actually do it for 30 days. Now, why would you do this? There is the romance of the hustle and there's the reality of the hustle. You're walking dogs, you're picking up poop. If you're not really enjoying that, it's just going to suck. That's why you should try a temporary hustle to actually see if you like it, actually see if it jives with who you are as a person and if it's going to be something worthwhile for you. When I started this YouTube channel, I did not like making videos, but I love the results. And that's what kept me involved because I had my blog. I was getting six to 20 hits a day. Started a YouTube channel. First week, 200, 300 hits to the blog, direct from YouTube to the blog, because you could look in your analytics and see where the traffic was coming from. I don't like sitting in front of this camera. I don't like sitting there talking to nobody. It feels weird, awkward, and strange. But you know what? I'm gonna keep doing it because it's getting me results. This is what I mean by determination. If you're doing something and you don't like doing it, but you like the benefits and the benefits are like way out of proportion to the discomfort. About six months of doing this, I really started to enjoy it. It just felt weird. And also a little tip, if you want to get really good at public speaking, start a YouTube channel and post a video two or three times a week and you automatically will become very good at public speaking. Why? Because you have to frame yourself, you have to talk to yourself, you have to emote, you have to have energy and all this other stuff that you need for public speaking. And I found this out by accident because I was asked to eat, speak at some events and I know this is like I, I didn't have the jitters and I didn't have the dry throat. So just a little tip from me to you. Taking your shots should be predicated in a certain environment. Number one, you should have the five checking accounts. You should have that foundation. You should have a budget because then you should looking at where your money is coming from and then you should audit your time. When I say 90 days, six months, people are like, whoa, that's a lot of time, man. That, that's a whole bunch of time. People are like, you want me to do something for that? Well, if you're only doing an hour a day, it's not really that onerous. If you're doing two hours a day or three hours a day, it's not really that big deal because people do not compartmentalize and they do not audit their time. They don't set up strategies. They don't set up schedules. This is why women are crushing in social media because that's just a natural component of being a mother. 
setting up schedules, putting up stuff. So they're going in and doing stuff that these business owners could do if they had the skill sets or actually just the, to, the determination to sit down and learn how to do it. But they'll pay someone 500, 600, maybe 1500 bucks a month to do all that for them. And in many cases, it's well worth the money. That's how you should take your shot. You shouldn't just like throw bricks, throw bricks, throw bricks, throw bricks. No, no. You should also learn proper shooting protocols. You ever notice back in the early days of the NBA, it was all the white boys that were crushing the three pointers. Now, pretty much most people are technically proficient at the three point line or the two point line or the free throw line because they have to be. I remember there were people who had like their, their free throws was like 30%. I don't think you're going to get in the NBA with a 30% free throw. Then again, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of NBA ball. So for all of you who are going to leave comments, have fun in there because all I'm going to do is end up deleting them later. Proper technique, proper framework, and the proper environment will be the thing to set your side hustle on fire. And then once you get your side hustle down, and once again, I'm gonna say this, and I know I'm gonna lose a lot of you. You've had your side hustle for two to three years. Then you could turn that side hustle into a full-time business, and it will not be so taxing on your mentality, your physicality, and your bank account. This is the journey that the entrepreneur makes. And many people have not logged the journey step by step because it's a weird thing to just start a business and start making a lot of money. It's not normal. And this is why you see so many people who are unsuccessful because they want to look at, you know, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Robert Thompson, uh, Robert Smith. They want to look at all these people who have not just made it. They have crushed it. If in your life you can create a fortune of $10 million or more, you have crushed it. There are only 5,000 families in the United States that have a net worth of 100 million or more. 5,000, not 500,000, not 5 million, 5,000. And when we get to the billionaire class, there's only 2,600 of them around the world. So once again, if you could create a five to $10 million fortune, You've done something, you have crushed it. You didn't just make it, you didn't just like, uh, well, you know, I'm here, I'm looking to get to the next level. No, you have actually done something that 99.5% of the people on the planet have not done. So if you're there or close to there, or you working toward that, congratulations, because you're doing something special. And all of this hustler porn, like, you know, if you ain't making 100 million in three years, <sighs> They ain't even going to be making a million in 30 years. But that's what they're telling you to keep you on their gram, their Facebook pages and stuff. So once again, take your shot. Do it in the proper framework. Do it in the proper structure. And then do a lot of testing. You see me all the time. Put out a product and you'll see a product disappear. You know what that means? Nobody was buying it. <laughs> that's what it means. If you see an ad over and over on Facebook, YouTube, guess what? It's converting or they wouldn't keep spending the money on it. That's results and results make money and money makes us happy. So with that, go below. And I don't know what day this is, but it may be the last day where you can get, you know, how to become financially independent. You get your basic financial education because that's the foundation you need to start this whole process. It should be 125 or 299, I don't know. Uh, Cause it may be where it's 299, but it's below. And as always, if you spend that 299 and you move on to the next program, you will get a discount coupon from me through your internet on off of the next program. So how cool is that? Do it, go ahead and do it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need the budget. You're gonna need the five checking accounts. Just go ahead and do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.